music. I can't remember her music. And we are live. Okay, we're good. We're live. We are live. And my phone. Um, the doc. <laughs> the doc. There is no doc. Yes, there is. It's got a paragraph. It does have one paragraph. Oh, I can't read it. It says James. James has to read it. James is not here today. So welcome to Inside Vaping, your bi-weekly resource for vaping news. Our, our show airs live every other Tuesday night starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via YouTube live event and at theownpage.com. <laughs> oh, shoot. There is no doc. Yes. The, is is that, that you doing that? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's me. Oh. It's not tonight. Well, welcome everyone to Inside Vaping. Welcome to Inside Vaping Retro Inside Vaping, because this is the way it used to be. For those of us who haven't, for those who haven't followed us throughout our myriad of, of time on YouTube and wherever else we've been, um, Ed and I were the ones that first started out Inside Vaping way back in the day. We were. Yeah, it's ours. Yeah, we were like on vapors.tv or something like that. And then even before that, I don't even remember what that was. What, what's this, Howard? Hi, Dane and all. <laughs> I am Dane all today. Yay. Everybody, I am all today. You are just all. I'm you all. are just all. I'm you all. Are the all person. I'm more. And hello, Howard. Hello, Dr. Abbott. Chef Steve is here, too. So welcome, everyone. Um, tonight, we've got a few things to talk about. Ed, you've got bait mail to talk about right out Jump Street, right? Dude, I got I got quite a bit of bait mail. So, um, if you guys, whoever doesn't know, I, I build mods, not for a living, but for a little side here. So, anyone who's familiar with Mamu, um, she's been a modder in oh man for as long as I can remember, and she used to take like the Nuck Fist Pack and make that. I think she made a couple of those, but she's been doing some 3D printing. Um, and uh, basically, there's there's a couple companies, Shapeways and I Materialize. And what she does is she uploads her designs, and I can, um, or anyone can go on there and purchase them. So this is for a DNA 200, and this is her Delaney. This is really cool. I like this. I got this some more. Infinities. And basically, I order white and red, and then I, I flip flop the, the front and the back, and they come out really cool there. And then she got this new, it's called Aluma, Alumid. It's somehow 3D printed with aluminum. I don't know how they do it. It's a little heavier, it's got a really cool feel to it, and it kind of looks, it's black, sparkly like the universe. I like the texture of it. Yeah, it. It's smoother. It's smoother than a. a oh wait, <laughs> rub up to this. <laughs> so I got that. I got some uh, controversial <coughs> these. A couple. I got a friend of mine that has a wholesale account, and uh, outside the label, which the. Uh, What's this stuff called? The Cracker Jack? I'm a little torn on it. Um, only because I don't think a lot of kids even know what Cracker Jacks are anymore. But that's just kind of me. Um, but the, the juice is, is a good. I like the juice. It's probably true that they don't know what Cracker Jack is. At least I think a majority of them don't. Unless they go to baseball games and hear it in the song. Yeah, and the toys suck. It, it's true. It's, like it's true. a tattoo. Yeah, and a bad one in that usually. Yeah, and I don't know if I showed these on the last episode, but I got the whole line of twelve vapors. It's all twelve zodiacs: Cactus, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> so we were gonna like do some kind of giveaway on this week's show, but since this week's show kind of fell apart. Um, we're going to do it next week's show. So I've got the entire, this is all three milligram, all 12 bottles of the entire line from 12 vapor at 12 vapor.com. I hope it's 12 vapor.com. 
<laughs> Me too. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of people going there. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got. And I, you got a little something, didn't you? I did. You know what? My friend Ed sent me juice in the mail. And I got to say, first off, before I even talk about the juice, you pack a box better than anybody <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I do a lot of shipping. <laughs> that box was packed beautifully. So I got uh, a bottle of Great Vapes Peppermint, which is what I'm vaping right now. Um, this is delicious. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. Matter of fact, it's the second handful I put in there already. It's yeah, really, that, really good. And that one's doctored up a little bit. That one, uh, the peppermint, that liquid is really strong peppermint. And uh, I basically cut it 50-50 with VG. And I, I, Ed knows I am a fan of the mint. And that one does not disappoint. That is really good. And the second one, just add milk, which... If none of you have tried that, is not only one of the greatest smelling e-liquids around, I could just sit and sniff the bottle. I really could. But it tastes incredible. Now, that comes from our friend Crazy Eyes. He it does not good. make that to sell. He, do, he just makes it for our friends. Dane was in town not long ago, and he tried it. And he's like, ooh, this is tasty. I'm like, I know what they can do. It's spectacular, and thank God it's a big bottle. And because of your good packing, this bottle did not deteriorate <laughs> because it's so hot in my bloody mailbox because the Arizona summers get ridiculously warm here. And usually when I go, like James sent me snooze in the mail once, and when I opened up the thing, it smelled like really foul snooze, and the cans were really hot. And it was kind of gross. I was like, I think I'm going to throw this in the freezer right away. You want me to give him a lesson on how to uh, pack? Yeah, in, yeah, because yours? yours was very well insulated. Yes. It was incredibly well insulated. And and that is part of my recycling heart. Everything that gets mailed to me, any bubble mailer, I keep it. And I recycle it. And I use it as packing for something else. See that smart because it came it came in very handy with mine. Yeah, very it was much. very very well packed. And and Rib said I need to turn one of those uh, twelve bottles. vapor bottles into a mod. That would be interesting. It'd have to be a DNA forty though. I couldn't get a two hundred lipo pack in there. I like the artwork on those. I think they're really cool. Yeah, that that they spent a lot of money on packaging. I, they did. They and it shows. I I like it. A UPC on the back milligram even the little banner that goes across the front here it's the aluminum there is raised on just the banner i mean that i wonder like, what retail is on those though it's probably like jack it is between 14.99 and 16.99 so is it like a buck a mil it's no well yeah it's a 20 mil bottle yeah, it's something like that. Now, I'll tell you, I cannot say enough about this peppermint. This is really, really good. <laughs> this is one of the the smoothest peppermints I've ever tasted. It's really good. <laughs> I like the warning label on here, too. Do not drink. Okay. Do not drink. Speaking of drinking, I got some Sprecher's root beer, baby. Oh, that's one of my favorites, too. Yeah. If anyone... Uh, if you find a Sprucker root beer, cream soda, what cream soda is just fabulous. It is it fabulous. Shot. It is. It's absolutely delicious. The label says it's a gourmet soda. I, I would agree. I love it. I when we went to Milwaukee, I we went to Sprucker's and it we had dinner there too. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Speaking of traveling, I will be traveling tomorrow. Where? I'm getting up at the crack of dawn. And Which I crack? am going to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the crack of Vegas. We are going to Las Vegas, Nevada tomorrow morning. Um, and we will be there <clears throat> almost through the weekend. And then we're coming back uh, late this weekend. So it'll be fun. And then we have another trip to Vegas planned in October. Uh, I have my mom and my sister are coming to uh, the Arizona area. And then we are going to Vegas again. Wow. Yeah, Wait, how so, far of a drive is Vegas for you? Four hours. But you're flying. Yeah, because it's like 
35 minutes up and down. Yeah. And it's ridiculously I'm, fast. And your wife's got a ton of airline points. Airline absolutely. Points. <laughs> absolutely. Yep. And then uh, our co-host, James, and his lovely wife, um, we are going with them to Sonoma, California in November. So we have rented a house on the beach, and uh, we are going to Sonoma. Uh, that'll be the first week of November, I believe. So we've got, we've got a lot on the docket, traveling-wise. And of course, you know, I've been very busy with the Arizona Diamondbacks. We, uh, my wife and I are now very proud uh, season ticket holders to the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. And we've been going to a lot of games. And uh, it's been a, a very disappointing season, to say the least. <laughs> Where are your seats? Uh, we are in the section Q, which is right behind the Arizona Diamondbacks dugout. So we're like right there. We're right by the field. Which is so you got so you got their dugout, and then about how many rows back? Uh, two. Oh wow! Yeah, you're, you're likely to get hit with the ball. <clears throat> That's true. That's true. <laughs> we have to be very careful and watch those foul balls so that we don't get busted in the noggins. But we're just far enough down the line that we wouldn't get hit with a bat that gets thrown. That's good. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I'm sure your wife is very familiar with foul balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm um, <laughs> Now it feels like the old. Instant. Yes, it does. Yes. Oh, the and, and there is a warning that yeah, this may be a little explicit from time to time. You know, no, no clickbane, gross stuff or anything like that. I mean, we're not going to have any monkey wars, but uh, yeah, you let it all fly, and you're going to hear people, a female coughing in the background every once in a while too. Um, yeah, that's I'll mute. My <laughs> wife is getting over a cold. I, I you know, and all we're missing now is Jeannie K telling uh, Ed to leave me alone. Yeah, that's all we're missing. We're missing. I like Jeannie K. I get to see her next month. Uh, oh, you're going to VaporCon, eh? I'm going to VaporCon. I don't know how I'm getting there yet, but I'm going. <laughs> you don't know how you're getting there? <laughs> so anybody who's going to VaporCon, Ed needs a ride. <laughs> Ed doesn't have a ride to VaporCon. He's walking. I'm He's going to hitchhike with up. bottles of juice to give away for anybody who picks them up. That's right. That's right. If somebody takes me all the way, you get them on. <laughs> you get them on. So there's the bonus. So if you're going all the way from Chicago to VaporCon, you get free mod out of the deal. That's right. They, and, and he may kick in for gas. Yeah. Yeah. May, maybe. There's a lot of people <laughs> in the car. You get a mod. And you get a mod. And you, <laughs> you just start handing out mods to everybody. Here's a mod for you. I don't vape. That's all right. Take a mod anyway. Take a mod. Take a mod. Charge your phone. <laughs> That's true. It's actually a good point. What if I, could do, I don't think we can do that with this one. I don't think, I don't think we could do that. that. Might blow up a phone. <laughs> you mean I can't charge it at 200 watts? <laughs> Why is this getting so hot? So, yeah, we, we miss our, our co-host this week. Uh, Jane's very busy with work. Uh, Jerry traveling for work. Um, they yeah, will yeah, be like, back in two weeks, of course, for yeah. our next broadcast. It's work. And we'll do that giveaway. And, and I want to know, and I'm going to ask Jerry when he comes back, when he actually goes, because he went to Germany, I believe, right? Yes, he did. Yep. I want to know how much of that is fun for him, or is it work, 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 work? Well, he actually hit the vape scene the last time he was out there, nice. and he was saying that it was pretty cool because there were a lot of German vape places that he could go to, and he was interested in the whole vaping culture there. Nice. Um, James, on the other hand, is not experiencing vaping culture right now. He is experiencing work overload. Yes, uh, he is. Yeah. He is working. He is. He's typing his little fingers to a nub. What'd you do? Uh, nothing. I was telling my wife. Our dr you'll hear our dryer in the yeah, back. I, yeah, somebody left a quarter in there. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's probably me. I'm usually the guy who does that. Are those... Do you wear button flies? No, no, no. I but I I do leave change in my pockets. I am notoriously guilty for doing that. I am. I I am that guy who does that. Uh, it's like a paper treasure. money until I finally and she got me a new wallet. And God, this is crazy that I'm even bringing this up, but it's true. There's a clip on the front. A clip on the and, front. Right. This is so I don't leave money in my pocket because otherwise I would. 
There would oh. be money just flying all around in my washing machine. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because yep. you'll be a money. You'll be money laundering. Oh. But those are the puns I miss the most. Yes. Those are the puns I miss the most. So let's see. What other vape mail did I get? None. I, I actually have to get vape mail because I'm almost out of coils for my my uh, sub tank. So I need to go get some. Yeah, you do. But Ed gave me the magic link to uh, to Fast Tech the other night. So yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> excuse me. You can get uh, sub tank vertical coils from. I mean, they're Kanger. They're authentic from Fast Tech, and they're nine. Well, if you buy three packs, or if you buy three packs, they're nine oh four. But don't buy them if you want them in a couple days. You're looking at a ten day minimum. Yeah, you got to order in advance far enough so that you know when yeah. you're going to run out. And, and 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 from my experience with Fast Tech, um, it's never been on Fast Tech's end. It's after they ship it. It gets stuck in customs, or maybe it was the first package to get on that crate or what do they call one of those big oh on the container and they got to fill that container up before they'll ship it overseas so my stuff's gotten held up in china a couple times but yeah now, do you have to pay customs do you ever get hit with a customs bill no no never do never do and yes costello yeah f you know he just says fuck fast tech yes i get it yes. i don't buy electronics from them i don't buy mods i don't buy anything because I don't trust that stuff. But th weird things like the most awesome scissors in the world for cutting cotton, these are amazing. They're little thread scissors, and they cut cotton great. Um, LED. Support like, your America. America, man. America. Yeah, support Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's like a – there's got to be something like a Mexican like site like that, right? You would think. You would think. You would think. Huh. Interesting. I'm trying to keep both of these windows open at once, and I'm just failing miserably because this, yeah, this Hangouts window is gigantic. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Now, but you cannot buy Aspire stuff. Authentic. Exp you can buy authentic Aspire, Aspire stuff from Fast Tech. But you have to pay for it with Bitcoin. Really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know. Maybe, whatever. I don't know. It's a way for them to get around it. I suppose. I did see one bit of uh, <clears throat> vaping news today that um, vaping news. Alabama defeated the. Uh, um, it was a vaping ban. I'm sure it was probably a public ban. It could have been a taxation bill too, uh, but they defeated it today. Uh, in their uh, legislature, so uh, congratulations to Alabama. Yeah, they're they're on the ball. Uh, what's their what's their things called? Breathe something. I forgot what it's called. Pink lung brigade. No, pink no. <laughs> That's a real thing. I'm sure. But um, I actually know one of the guys down there, um, Rob from New Way Vapor. Um, he actually uh, carries my BAM. He actually got the last of my BAMs. I just shipped the last box of BAMs. <gasps> you don't have a BAM on your shelf anymore? No, I have not not to sell. Oh, okay. I have my personal ones. I got like eight or nine of them. I was going to say, that's sad because I'm always used to looking at BAMs sitting back there. Yeah, well, I had to rearrange the shelving. I noticed that. Um, That middle shelf is completely different now. Yeah, the middle shelf is now... Um, mods in process and in work. I moved all the liquid up high so the kids can't grab it. And That's I'm not I'm not too worried about my kids. My kids know you don't this area is off limits. You don't touch things on the desk. You don't touch things back there and they know. Um, but it's when their friends come over. And when they bring them out here because we got the Pepsi cooler with all the juice boxes in there, I don't want one of the you know, somebody else's kid coming in here and go, oh, look, something that looks tasty. It's a mod that looks like a juice box. Yeah. I think I'm going to take this. And then all of my stuff, my personal mod stuff is down here. Yeah. So that's all my stuff. Um, 
Do you know that uh, that James went on Smoke Free Radio last week? Yes, he did. As a matter of fact, and I listened to that show. I try to catch Smoke Free Radio whenever I can, um, especially live. Usually I listen to the replays, though, but I always try to catch it live when I can. Because uh, Dimitri's good, and he always has good guests on there. Yeah. So I, a, I always try to listen. I'm, I'm a replay guy, too, because I, I have a lot of time in my van. Um, any of you that have ever listened to Jeannie Kay's show knows this, because she always says hi to me while I'm driving around. And uh, they brought up some points, and it's funny because one of the points was actually what similar to this, and the the copyright and and product infringement or intellectual property, whatever you want to call it. And you got you remember back the the Sour Patch deal when John yep. was there and called him out, and I had a thought that, and I can't remember if James or Dimitri said it. They are coming out with these labels that are shocking. And people go, oh, my God, I can't believe it. It looks just like Sour Patch or Sour Patch Kids. It looks just like it. Are they doing it on purpose? Because they get all this negative publicity and everybody knows who they are. And then they do this massive overhaul, this big facelift. And everybody now is praising them for what they did. What do you think about that? And you're muted. Just no, <laughs> I just noticed that my mute button didn't come off. So do you think that they would go to the expense? And I, and I don't know. I'm spitballing here. Do you think they'd go to the expense of printing out labels knowing as well? In today's day and age, they got to know. They, they, nobody could be living under that big of a rock that they wouldn't know that, all right, this is this is objectionable and it could cross the line into marketing to children. Do you think they'd go through all that expense to put out a label knowing that they're gonna have to retool them probably within a month or two? But and then they retool them and then they, they have this gigantic 180 turnaround and all of a sudden they're openly embraced and beloved by the entire community. Well, the, the the question is is how much retooling would they have to do if it's just a printed label? Well, and that's a good point because if it's just a printed label, a rudimentary printed label, it's not. It it really isn't because stock images are stock images in Texas Text, and it's yeah. pretty easy to redo those. It's it's very very simple. Now, if they're doing them professionally, that's a different issue altogether because you're looking at some companies who have some pretty fancy labels on yeah, their shoes. Yeah, you do. I, I think it's a good point, though. And I, I, I listened to that show, too. And I, and you know me, I'm a, I, I'll talk to the screen, even though I know they can't hear me. I'm like, exactly. Somebody had to have done that at least once. At uh, least yeah. one company, I would think, has had to have done that up to now. Well, all publicity is good publicity, good or bad, right? It's true. It's true. And then, and then that gave me another thought where when it comes to the copyright things and then companies are getting cease and desist, who turns them in? Because You know what? I've always wondered that too. I don't know. You, you think – you got a good theory though. You think it's other companies, right? I think – you know, because what? You think Sour Batch Kids is actually vigorously scouring the internet for somebody else using their image? No. No, they don't get, and, and least of all the vaping sector. They're, yeah, they're not and there. might it be the community? That yeah, could be. Sour I think grapes. It's other, yeah, I think it's other companies. Yeah, because you got other companies that are making the bottles like that eight one five eight eight one five, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now they have to they have to market their product, and they got to show why their product is good. They got to get it in people's hands. They can taste it. Oh, this stuff is good. I want to buy more. Where you got a company that comes out with something like Cracker Jacks, it's already a familiar look. I want to buy it. I already. Oh, that's what it's going to taste like. So I almost think it might be other companies because you know they got to work so hard, and these guys are just cheating. They're basically cheating. It's true, and yeah, it, I, that was a fascinating segment on that show too, and and it really started to make you think. I guess I never really looked at it that way before. I, you know, it's it's easy to call 
a company dumb when they put out, you know, Captain Crunch's face on a, <laughs> on a meat <laughs> liquid label. It is. It's a, they're easy fodder. They really are. They're and don't get me wrong. I'm also one of those guys who likes picking on them too because I do. I'm like you. You, what, they drop you on your head or something when you were little, even when you were bigger, because this is pretty stupid. You know this belongs to somebody else, but you're still doing it anyway. And but it turns I, him into what? Turns him into a what? moron. Yes. It turns him into morons. That's right. It turns him into morons, and <laughs> Lord knows we got enough morons in this <laughs> as a whole anyway. We don't need any more morons. There's plenty of them already. But it, it was it was interesting to me, and I thought, you know, I never really thought of it that way. What a great way to have your company get just a ton of free publicity via social media and every other outlet you can think of. Because let's face it, vapors are very inventive people. And when they're going on the offensive against something, it gets everywhere. And it gets everywhere fast. It spreads, it spreads faster than California wildfire. It is all over yeah. the place. I mean, you you make a label, you make a liquid that's that's something familiar like Captain Crunch, and you put it out there, and then everybody shares it. Oh, go to this website, look at this. This is a bunch of shit. And they'll even tell you to go rail on them. They'll be like, everybody go over there, rail on this guy right now. And then all of a sudden, boom, there goes everybody over there. There's like 500 hits on it within 15 minutes. And then what happens? Their SEO rating goes up. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, the hit counter. Ding, 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 ding. It's tough. It, it's tough. Um, it, it bringing light to something that's wrong. It's like a double-edged sword. It's like, oh, let's here's look, they're doing something wrong, but then it 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 turns out possibly being good for them. It is, and you and you know me with with this subject as well. Historically, especially, I. I will always immediately go on the offensive. And that's not always a good thing to do because incomplete information exists everywhere. Uh, there And there's been interesting stuff. There'll be stuff that James and I, I think I'll touch on next week or next show. Um, probably more me than him. I know he he's a, he's a little more uh, friendly and, and docile with, uh, with issues like this. And I'm not, I'm, I'm much meaner and, full of vinegar and but there was a a very large vape entity that went after not really went after but commented very negatively about a, a juice maker on social media and actually had uh, told the people on social media that that they had spoken to this manufacturer of e-liquid when in reality they did not they never did. They never spoke to them and never ever talked to them at all. And I, there's there's the downside of some, I, I call it faux advocacy. It's very easy for someone to be an armchair advocate. It really is. It's very, very easy for people to do that now. You just jump on the bandwagon or you can listen to Dimitri's show every week or you can listen to a myriad of other shows out there. And it, it, it's pretty easy to figure out what's going on. But there's also a lot of misinformation and misinformation works two ways. There's misinformation against us in mainstream media, but there's also misinformation from us about ourselves in social media. And I think that's an issue that people are gonna have to start getting a hold of because be careful before you slander somebody, especially all over a public page the story may not be what you think it is. And and that's really the bottom line moral of that story is that they just jumped on this company right away. And and we'll go more into detail in the next show. I'll I'll I, I don't care about naming names. I'll I'll name all the names because it really it doesn't matter. To me. I can't wait to see that show because I'm not gonna be here. I'm just gonna sit at home and watch. Are you okay you'll be a spectator <laughs> that week? Yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna spectate. No but yeah so they they you know they went off and, and I, I I was a little surprised because I I didn't think that they normally did that type of thing. And I was like, oh, that's kind of out of the ordinary. But and and then I got more into it and, and I read more into it. I was like, whoa. Wow. And I mean, don't get me wrong, this this vendor was partially wrong too. He really was. He he had just as much wrong in this as anybody. But 
I, you know, he, he had made reference about, you know, they were very quick to take their money and uh, it, it, it started getting ugly and it got ugly pretty quick. Okay. Speaking of reading on public forums, what were you telling me about that you read on Reddit this week? Oh, the, the two cell? Hmm. That is correct. Yeah. I don't know if I read that. I didn't read that on Reddit. But it, it, it came up on Reddit. No, there's a, um, an early adopters form for the DNA 200. And I believe this actually came up in July. Um, <clears throat> but now you can go in and tell your DNA 200 that you only want to use a two cell. So you can Ooh. use two 18650s, which is going to open up a whole different market for the DNA 200. Now, it won't go to 200 watts. It'll go to 133 watts, basically a third less, because you got one third less battery. Yeah. But your battery life is going to get so much better. I mean, for that same pack, I mean, you're going to get dual 18650 worth of power. Uh, a little more efficient, though, because the DNA treats power better. I don't even vape at 100 watts. I can't even imagine 133. Uh, for fun, maybe. I, I can't. I mean, even a dual battery at 100 and over 100 watts isn't going to last very long. No. Um, oh, Ace like, here, by the way. Jeannie. She joined, quit, and joined again. She did. She's, She's in and out. It's like a revolving door. Yeah. She but does Kato, Kato's right. Vape drama. It is vape drama, and unfortunately, vape drama is spilling over. And lately, I've actually, I, at least at the risk of breaking my own arm, patting myself on the back, I, I, I've done very well at ignoring it and staying out of it. Whenever I hear somebody and, and I get messages all, all the time, oh, did you hear this? No, I don't hear anything anymore. I'm selectively deaf, and that's kind of where i've i've left it at this point it's like look you don't have anything decent to say i don't i, I, I kind of don't want to hear it sounds tell like me burn. something tell me something good what what sounds like burn i don't it's, know what sounds like burn look she's not in the truck yeah i don't know how you're always in the truck every thursday though how do you always wind up in the truck on thursday what do you mean you're always in the truck on Thursday during Genie Show? No. No, 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 oh, no, no. So you just listen to it the next day. I listen to the replay, and then Genie will get a text message from me three, four, five days later, and I'll be like, hi, Genie. <laughs> hi, it's, me from, it's me from the truck. Yeah. It's not being me. creepy or anything, but it's just me I'm from the around. truck. I'm driving around. <laughs> She knows. She knows. That's see, right. yeah, see, Jeannie's 200 has never been over 40. Jeannie's is usually at like 11. That's that's like 11 or 12 or something like that. That's that that's her sweet spot right there. I know. Look, I, I'll even – I am i don't know if I should be proud of this or not, but I, my wattage actually went up. It is now 15. 15. Watts. I know. Can you believe that? 15 ridiculous watts. That is what I, although I will say this, this peppermint is good at higher wattage. It, uh, it's really good. I had it up to, I think I was at 35 earlier um, because I have one of the fruity flavors that I vape normally is very, actually very good at 35 watts. Jeannie says, I try to make him laugh and hope he doesn't wreck. No, he he won't wreck. <laughs> I don't know. Did you hear the bat story? <laughs> Did you hear the bat story? No. Oh, Jeannie, what episode was the bat story? So Dane can go back and listen to it. The bat story. Basically, with, without giving anything up, but Jeannie had a bat in the house. So keep in mind that she has dogs. She has uh, an older teenager and and genie and you mix all that together and you get a hilarious story so you gotta listen to that i'm kind of curious as to how genie got a bat in the house though <laughs> i don't i don't know how it got in there probably one of her kids left the door open <laughs> she said it's not funny 
<laughs> it, it is funny. Oh, the killer bat. <laughs> oh, it man, didn't oh, kill man. anything. I, oh, yeah, it, it ate all the mosquitoes in her house. How dare that bat? My dog um, would go nuts, man. Oh, but w when you said you bumped your your um, your wattage up, and I kind of felt the same way because I loved my K Fun Light Plus. I loved it. And then I started dabbling with the sub tank. Ooh, I kind of like that. But I'm sticking with my my mouth inhale. I like my mouth inhale. And the more and more I used the stinking sub tank, the more and more I did the lung thing. And uh, now I haven't touched my. I got this super tank mini or mini super tank, and I love this thing. It, it, you know, well, it's it's funny that you say that because ever since I started using this sub tank, I have not filled up the K phone again. And that, that makes me kind of sad because I'm packing vape stuff for Vegas now. And I grabbed the K phone instinctively because I always do. It's yeah. great for the casino floor, man. It holds enough liquid. It lasts me a while. I don't have to worry about it. It's always perfect. And I'm like, do I really need this thing now? And I'm thinking, mm, maybe I don't. You know, I have my sub tank. And it's sad because I, I like the way K Fun's fate, man. I, I do. Yeah. Ever since I got that first one from you, I used it religiously yeah, all the good. time. Still one of my yeah. best yeah, I'm ever. For life. You're right. It just... Of course, I've got the air the airflow choked down quite a bit on here. But. Um, it, this the the super tank mini. I think I think it's a tobacco product. Yeah, it's a tobacco product, but it's theirs. They didn't clone something. Um, but it does use. A, it, you can use the Aspire Nautilus coils in it, but they have their own coils, and I actually like their coils over the Nautilus coils. Their coils have got four slots for the wick holes, two slots on either end go all the way down to the base. Oh, nice. So when I'm getting really low, I could just let this sit up for a couple minutes, and it'll suck every bit of the juice in there, and I could fill it up with something different. Really like that. It's a good, it's a good vape. And I think they're dual parallel inside. So. Yeah, I, I can tell you that this, speaking of good vape, this bottle of juice, this will be gone within the next two days. Well, it'll be just over. say the word. It's a local shop here. No, I got those plastic bottles that you sent me before, and I'm going to fill just add milk. That's what's <laughs> going in there. And that's what's going with me for the other tanks. I'm trying to decide how many tanks I bring in. You know, it's the old bring backups for your backups thing. It's like, I'm not going to Vegas for a year. I'm only going for a couple of days. But I have enough vape gear to last me for like Ever. 20 days. It's ridiculous. It's really kind of ridiculous. I have way more e-liquid than I will ever vape in that amount of time. I have, and, and look, I've got a shelf full of e-liquid, and I'm going to VaporCon next month. Uh, it's not going to be a good, it's not going to be good. No. That's why I get excited when I, I, I just, I just finished a bottle from VaporCon last year. <laughs> Juice. It's gonna sit up on the juice wall for a while, and then or some one of us will bring it up and be like, "Hey, Ed, what's that juice right there? I've never seen that label." Oh yeah, I got this at VaporCon. It's pretty good. And then you'll fill up one and go, "Wow, it is really good. I think I'll start using it." <laughs> yeah, I got this thing. It's like I want to go through the bottles because I I can't I don't waste anything. Back to my bubble mailers. Anytime I get shipped something in a bubble mailer, I reuse it. I don't like to throw things away. That's yeah, rest grandpa. assured. If you get anything from Ed in the mail, it is going to be wrapped, man. That thing is going to be packed to perfection. I could not believe all the stuff in there. I'm like, what the hell did he send? It took me a few minutes to get down to the bottom. I was like, what's in here? I'm like, whatever it, it is, it's heavy. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. It was in the, middle. In, the it was middle. in the middle. Because there were more bubble mailers down on the bottom. And then <laughs> there was styrofoam on top of the bubble mailers. And then there was like the bubbly wrapper stuff inside of other mailers on top of that one. It was like it was like the it was like the little Russian head things that you keep opening up and going, oh, what's in it? What's in it? <laughs> the nesting, the nesting yeah, dolls. It's all little nesting dolls. 
It's like, what, what else is in here? There's more in here. It's like bonus. It's like Christmas time. Yeah. Oh, there's more in here. Look, 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 look. But it also, I wonder if there's anything in this one. Oh, no, that one's just for packing. Oh, uh, no. I did. I will admit I did. I looked in every envelope that you put in there. Did you find the $50 bill? Don't <laughs> tell me that there was one in there. Oh, no. Damn. I must not have looked that good. Damn it. Missed a fifty dollar bill. Crap. Well, you need to call your husband then, there, Jeannie. You gotta work on your internets. <laughs> Jeannie, she takes four DNA devices and two hundred mils of liquid with me to come. I could see that at VaporCon because you can. Well, I guess Vegas, you can vape all the time too. You're not supposed to vape in the room though, according to the hotel. Yeah. I. I of course, I do. Anybody from that hotel watches this show. Um, I will anyway, because <laughs> I always do. So sorry, Vegas, but I I do. I I vape in every room I'm in. Just, just, just I, buy I'm, just buy a box of Fruit Loops and leave it on the. By the I know, TV. right? I, it smells I like do. Fruit Loops in here. Oh, it's just a like cereal. oh, it's fruity. That guy has really nice cologne. It smells like Fruit Loops. Do you, you get paranoid? Do you ever get paranoid when you're at a hotel and you vape and, and you're like, oh, no, oh, no, it's going by the smoke detector? <laughs> um, no, but I did do it unconsciously in an elevator at a hotel, Ooh. and then I got paranoid because there was a camera in that elevator, and I, I didn't even realize I was doing it. That It was in my pocket. I just took it out, and I just started vaping on it, and I was vaping on it hard, and I was blowing a lot of vapor, and I was like, oh, shit, what am I doing? And that's what I was. I was doing that. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I, I almost wanted to go to the desk and say, I apologize for that in case anyone was watching. But it's sometimes it's unconscious. Here's a tip. <laughs> oh, I work at that hotel. Here's a tip. And a lot of you probably know this, but most hotels have fart fans in the bathroom. That's true. You go in the bathroom, you close the door, and you vape your face off. It's true. It's the same thing as somebody taking a hot shower. So there's no smoke detectors in there. It's no. nothing but paper. You can smoke. And then what I would do, I close the door. And then when your wife goes in there, <laughs> it smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> that's that cereal smell. Is that, that, that's a cereal smell again. It smells like cereal and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a morning after a bowl of half a crunch at my house. <laughs> no, but it would be nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> oh, oh, you're screwed. You're screwed. Castello, he, he works at that hotel. Oh, uh, no, the... don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. I won't say where I'm staying. Yeah, go ahead. Try to find the Smith. <laughs> See, that's the best part, is that everybody's <laughs> like, is that a real name? Like, yeah, it really is. Uh, yeah. They're like, no, uh, nice alias. I'm like, no, it's not. It's real. Yeah, so real. So real. Yeah, but I'm excited. We're uh, we're actually we're going to a concert Wednesday night uh uh, anybody who doesn't know, I was an am a uh, a professional <laughs> chef. Fruit. <laughs> Just read it. Fruit boops. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come out with a, a e liquid by that. Name. <laughs> that's great. Somebody's gonna come out with an e liquid by that name, and you should get credit for that. So get yeah, a that's right. Out royalty. That's right. I well, would call distributor now. Call, call a packager. I would, yeah, but I, I'm I'm a chef, and I have a lot of sh chef friends in Vegas. So uh, this, not only is it fun, but when I go to Vegas, I always catch up with people I haven't seen in a long time. So that's that's what a lot of this is going to be too. So I'm going to spend a lot of time with friends I haven't seen in a while, and get together with a bunch of people, and we're going to have dinner and all that good stuff. So it'll it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends again. Um, some I haven't seen in quite a while, um, so I'm pretty stoked. My wife is pretty stoked. We're looking forward. We're leaving really early, though, really early, like 6.30 in the morning. And uh, Although, I, for the life of me, I don't know why we're leaving so early, because I don't think we can check it until 3 o'clock anyway. Well, there's always something to do in Vegas, though. Yeah, it'll be lunchtime for me. And it's such a fast flight from Phoenix. It's like, it's no time at all. You're up, down, so far. Well, I don't even have time to take your seatbelt off. 
Yeah, yeah. You did. They sometimes they don't even serve like beverages. Um, they don't. They don't do it. You know, I never get the best. beverage. I never. I never, I never do either. Usually, it. I'll. I'll have my own bottle of water. Um, yeah, me too. I, because being a guy who, who travels a lot, of, you gotta. You've really gotta hydrate big time when you fly a lot. You do. You really need to anyway. And. We had talked about on the last show, somebody <laughs> did on the show before that, I think it might have been, about somebody was snitching on the guy who was stealth vaping. When I read that story, I thought that was somebody snitching on me because oh. that, that is exactly what I do. I will take a little E-roll and I'll have that thing in my hand and I'll be watching my little movie on my iPad and I will just be stealth vaping away. I, I do. I do. I, every time I fly, I do that. And I was like, oh, man, somebody finally busted me doing that. Yeah, no kidding. What a fun ball. But yeah, usually, that's yeah, always we, James is here. We have to we have to straighten up now. James no is here. Why is no James here? Yeah, no more bullshit. Did you read what Rib said? That have you ever had your e-juice tested for meth, or am I the only one? And then, James yeah. has his meth tested for Fruit Loops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got his for Fruit Loops. Where's uh, uh? Wait, let me add James to the Skype call. Why? We're not you know, on Skype. Oh, you're right. We're not on Skype. I can't give no, him the link. Shoot no, him the link. For... No, you ruined it. <laughs> ruin it. I don't want to ruin the hangout. Don't ruin the hangout. He said, "I'm at home, but I'm working on the servers, using my phone to watch the stream and chat." Well, We've had no it. technical difficulties yet. None. None whatsoever. No, it's true. None. Unless nobody can hear us, then we're screwed. Which is very possible. And James' idea of working is he's probably, what, rebuilding his castle for Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't play Minecraft. I... All right, I'm going to admit this though. James and I have been playing World of Warcraft. We will talk oh, about World that. of Warcraft. My we bad. will be talking about that on the it's show. One of those crafts. I I never played it, but James suggested that we play it. So I started playing it. And of course, like every other ridiculous game and Ed knows because we play Don't Starve together. Uh, once we get going, it's <laughs> Hard to stop playing. So yeah. even to the point where my wife yells at me now, and she was mad at James one night. He's cutting into my time, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Right but you want to play? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I said too, and that's not the correct thing. Yeah, I'm sure that's, that's probably not. Good. That's not the correct response. That didn't go over very well. He says, "I'm remoted in through VPN. Can't join until I disconnect." Technically, Ed shirt is ugly. Stella says. Wow. You're out of here. <laughs> I was given this shirt from the Vapor Company. Established in 2008. No, they weren't. 2008. Bullshit. I don't remember them. No. Where are they out of? Chicago? No, that's um, Chad. That used to work for Vapor for Oh, that's not 2008. Yeah, I don't That's know. It's more like 2010, 2011. Of course, maybe Chad has been established since then. No, uh, that's true. Okay, so technicality. Yeah, minor technicality. We'll give it to you, Chad, on a minor technicality. Well, your shirt's ugly too, so meh. <laughs> my, shirt is, my shirt is ugly to L.A. Dodger fans, who we really got smacked by over the weekend. It was pretty bad. That, uh, James is absolutely right. Dane's new name in World of Warcraft is Leroy Jenkins. That is absolutely correct. Ever since I've watched that video now. Yeah, I, got, <laughs> I got something to tell uh, Costello. Genie and Para are the only two in the room who are going to get that. Way back in the beginning, there was, I don't remember what episode it was, but Ed played that song. No, no, somebody in the chat said, play this song. Oh, so that's right. That's right. Somebody in the chat said, play this song. Ed played it, and we absolutely lost it for the entire rest of the show. It was ridiculous. 
all we did was just laugh our asses off for like two whole hours and make fun of everybody we could make fun of with that song. And that went on for quite some time. But it was pretty um, funny. And yeah. I still laugh when I hear that song because it's absolutely ridiculous. It is. It is. It is so freaking. Every time I hear it, I just laugh. I. I. I couldn't hold it together. I could not hold it together. No. And when Ed played that earlier, before we went on the air, I thought, I'm like, oh, don't do that to me again. I. I couldn't even <laughs> function. It was so funny. My wife thought I was like losing my mind. She's like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm like, you gotta hear this song. <laughs> That's the only thing missing from old school inside vaping. It's true. Music. Yeah, we used to have music on. Yeah, we used background. to play music. I was I was the DJ. Yep, and there were times when I would throw those 70s songs in there. Yeah, I know, right? He used to piss that off. We're not going to listen to shit. <laughs> and that shit was just horrifying. It was horrifying. It was funny, though. Yeah, it was. It was fun, yeah. And who'd have known that inside vaping even lasts this long? Uh, what yeah, what right? did we think it was gonna be like a two week thing? We'd be done. We we didn't we didn't even we didn't even think it would be a thing. We, no, we never I mean, we never thought that. Yeah, here, here's the history. It was it was inside vaping, then it was you dirty rat bastards, and now inside vaping again. Right. <laughs> because we I, I we didn't want to do it, and, and when. Ed got busy and Ed's work schedule changed and things changed and I moved out here. And, and I was like, look, I'm like, I, I don't want to do it if it's not this incarnation. It's not the same. No. It won't be, it won't be oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, the, our inside vaping, of course, with me being busy and everything, but then the vape team invited you on with that. Right. Yeah. And then the vape team. The biggest, yeah. yeah. That was the, one of the biggest changes. And then, of course, James and I uh, hit it off. And because we spent a lot of time on the road together, so we, uh, we hit it off, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time on the Bay Team. It, it was a blast. I uh, I had access to, uh, to events and people. To me, it was always about the people, and I liked going out to all of those shops, and I still do. I, I one of my favorite parts about this industry is all of the independent business owners that have shops all over the place. And whenever I get a chance, I always go out to as many as I can. Like when I went to that bait meet in Tucson, I'd never even been to Tucson. And I could not believe the number of people. They got a, just a local every month bait meet. They got 200 people strong. And this was at a time when bait meets were relatively smaller. Mm -hmm. These guys were packing VFW halls. I'm like, how the hell do you get this word out? And it was just social media word of mouth and i'll tell you i and i told arvid solemn then and i'll tell him again arvid hello if you're watching that guy could put on a clinic organizing a vape event it was, was like a well-oiled machine i'd never seen anything that smooth it was i was like holy cow this guy's really good i'm like you should do this for a living dude so He's somebody good. asked when was the first inside vaping when was the first inside vaping? Good God. What is it? A year and a half ago now? Two years ago? Let's just see. Is it three years ago? Two years no, ago? This was. No, this was our show. Where's the other one? I, it, was a, it was a while. We still have our old videos up. I don't think so. I think uh, YouTube. I think we replaced them with the new version. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this was all right, when we came to the Vapors TV. This was August 2014. Of our, this is for our trailer for our. Wow, we've been doing this for a year. Yep. Uh, in this format. Yes, in this format for a year. Our, so two years ago was probably our first show. Yeah, there are, all of our shows are gone now. Oh, I didn't yeah. know we took them down. Oh wait, did we post them to YouTube? No, oh, not all of them. Right. Only some. 
only towards the end. I think we only did like two or three that we posted up there. Yeah. Because I couldn't figure out how to record them back then. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to record this shit. Oh, my God. Those are the – you think we have a lot of technical difficulties now. Oh, no, no, no. Still one of my favorite shows we had Dimitri on. And uh, he, he kept dropping his call from Skype. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. Oh, I'm going to be a dick. Can I be a dick? Yes, from before Dane went to vape team. Goes back a year. Um, all right, here, here, here we go. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this. You, you, you told me it was okay, but this video here was named, What's in Your E-Liquid? What's in oh, your yeah. e-liquid bottle? And it just so happens Dane did not wear a hat. <laughs> That's true. I didn't. I yeah, I remember that video. I um That's the one where all the bottles were like different levels. That was Suicide Bunny, yeah. yeah. I uh I took a lot of heat for that video. I really did. I I took a lot of heat for that video. Because I sent her, I, I sent, I sent the company pictures, a short fills of every shop I went into, and they were like markedly different. They weren't even close to being the same level. I mean, you, you had in in one of them that I measured, I think the biggest one was nine mils <laughs> or eight <laughs> mils. I don't even remember now, but it was big. Yeah. You know what I have to say to them? <laughs> That video. <laughs> yeah, I think we somebody played the music video too at one point because I there's a music video for that song and I it watched is, it. I, I put the link in the chat that that's the music video too. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, so that's just oh, it goes back a year in YouTube. Yeah, but no, but um, oh, Kato was saying goes back a year. Yeah, that's the, the current format before it was just it was this. Granted, it, we, we were using Skype, though. It, yeah, we were. We were using Skype, not Google Hangouts. And uh, I used Wirecast, the broadcast. Yeah, Wirecast. We used Wirecast. And, yeah, that's what we were using to broadcast. It was really, really pretty rudimentary. I mean, we would, it was very, very freeform, very much like this evening. And uh, we would talk about vape stuff. But usually we had a lot more vape stuff to talk about back then, too, though. Yeah, we always had, like, products and things to talk about and it's true. a lot less advocacy things to talk about because you know there wasn't a ban around every corner and no there wasn't legislation was you know kind of not non-existent but it was pretty low and uh it was just all about the cool stuff that was coming out it was actually at a really good time too because innovation was really coming on strong then when we first started there there was a lot of new stuff that we hadn't seen Uh, Uncle Dagger. <laughs> Dane, do, do I, do you, I yeah. do? you read the last one, right? I prefer the current format with the anal screen positioning and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he must sit in on our pre-show. <laughs> that, that is when the magic happens. <laughs> You must sit in our appreciate. He is meticulous. I will say that. Yes. And it's not bad. It's actually good. Our our production value is all due to James. Yes. Yes. The Hollywood Squares of Vape. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, but it pretty much makes James sound like. <laughs> I'm trying not to play anything more than that. So That's going to be the that. ringer on your phone now. No, no God, no. I, I should make that the ringer on your phone. No, it won't be funny anymore. Wait, James, hang up a minute. We'll make it the ringers on our phone just for James. When <laughs> <laughs> That'll be James' ringer for our phone. No, my my, <laughs> my, my cell phone ring is uh, is different. 
tell, please tell me it's not Disney. Is your <laughs> I should have known. Minions. It's the minions doing dubstep. <laughs> but I, I tend to pick ringers with uh, a lot of high tones so I can hear it when I'm at work. Because with earplugs in, you can't hear anything low. Yes, doctor. The people are all right, too. And I, a lot of you don't hear it enough because we probably and surely don't say it enough. We think and we believe that our listeners are the smartest people in the vape community. And not just because they listen to us, but because they are. Yeah, because if... They, if we're smart because they listen to us, probably would they wouldn't them. listen to us. <laughs> but no, it, it, it's true. We do. We, and James and I talk about it a lot. We, we like our audience. We, a lot of people think that we don't see the very cool, pithy comments, but we do. And we like them. And there's a lot of ones that we talk about even in our pre and post show meetings. We do. We talk about them a lot. Yeah. We're like, hey, did you see what so and so and so that was? Fucking awesome, and yeah. we'll say that a lot. And just keep it. And this is this is like I said, this is throwback to me and Dane. We would always like read the chat and, and make you know everybody because you people watch this replay. Mm -hmm. You have to keep in mind that you can't respond to a chat without reading what somebody wrote. Right? Like, Jenny's like, yeah, I love them too, and people don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Who do you love? <laughs> Yeah, Genie yeah, loves the minions. Banana. <laughs> Banana. Oh, look at the time already. Yes. It flies. An hour flies. See, now here's where we're not like old school inside vaping because we used to be two hours, and there were times when we ran considerably over. Oh, but oh yeah, we did. <laughs> there were times we had some marathons. We did. We had some marathons. Though, and I, those were a blast. And I, I will say I missed some of those because they were fun, especially – because we used to go opposite of vape team before I was on vape team. So when vape team was over, it was pretty common that Dimitri would pop over. Yeah, he would. That's right. And, and we would have all of us in there and it was just a blast. And I, I, I do, I miss that. I, you know, I miss those long nights of, of laughing our asses off about every little thing and all of those rants because there were so many. And my on air, remember my on air builds? Yes, on air builds, which you have not, well, you haven't done in this format. I won't say you haven't because you have, but we need to see those again. On air builds. We, should, I could, we could do an on air build. What the hell am I going to build? I, I could build, you know, I could probably build one of these on air, show everybody how to do it too. And basically, how the on air builds worked. Is I set this set the camera point to the desk, and we would just talk about everything else just going on, and then check in every once in a while. Right, and then the build goes on, and then we go back to the build, and or because I always had questions, I'm like, "What the hell are you doing there?" <laughs> uh, Jeannie loved the on air builds because she learned to leave the the wire wrapping rod in the wire. When you place it in your cave <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to do that. She still talks to that. No, you do. Cause she remember she she was wrapping the coil. Oh yeah. Taking right. the rod out. That, that, and then trying to put it in there with her with her her hands that get achy painting. That's true. Well, Shall we say good night there, Ed? And uh, we'll see you all in two weeks. I am uh, off to last wages, Minyana. Yes. <laughs> I love you too, Gene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, have a lot of fun in Vegas. Um, put uh, uh, put five on black for me. I will. <laughs> I will, and if it wins, I will. Uh, I'll Western Union you the money. Okay, cool. Because it's only eleven dollars. 
I watch way too much TV these days. Send me the link. It's over, James. It's over. We're ending. Yeah, we're done. No. Or no. <laughs> it's over. Oh, He's like, oh, now I want to come on. I'm like, no, it's over. It's over. It's over. No, no. No airtime for you. You you, you stay home. No airtime for you. No, no airtime for you. You walk up. You walk up. You stay on your VPN. This is rude. That's probably kind of rude. Oh, well. Inside vaping. <laughs> well, thanks again, everyone, for, uh, for joining us this week. Thanks for hanging in with us. And uh, we'll certainly see you in two weeks. We'll have a giveaway. We'll have a lot more stuff to talk about. Jerry and James will be back. We will get back to very cool camera stuff and lots of exciting content. Um, very much unlike what we had this week, which was not much at all. This was but, fun. And shooting the breeze. Yeah, it is fun. And it, it's, it's fun to connect with the people as well. Because that was one of the things I liked the most about Inside Vaping was yeah. connecting with our right. viewers. Absolutely. And, and we did that a lot, and, and I, I don't want to forget that. You know, I don't, I don't ever want to forget that. No. Excellent. Well, thanks, everyone, again. We will see you all in two weeks. Have a great vape week wherever you are. And, Ed, your parting words are? I got to run. <laughs>